Hello, for this interactive advanced concept presentation, I am trying to make a fire with a lemon. So I have um, a lemon here, and I placed in it um, six copper pennies. Um, and then on this side, I placed in six zinc nails. And then I connected uh, each penny to a nail um, with some wire. Um, and then I did, so like the first penny was connected to the second nail. So then on the end, I had one loose zinc nail and one free loose penny. So then I tied around some rubberized wire, as you can see on the sides, um, one around the penny and one around the nail. And I am um, going to rub them here into a little pile of steel wool. I'm going to rub them on the steel wool and then on the toilet paper and hopefully get a spark. Okay, so as you can see, I am not getting a spark with my lemon. Um, I am trying to rub the um, two ends of the wire, one that's connected to the penny, um, the copper penny, one that's connected to the zinc nail. And I'm just trying to rub them onto the steel wool and hopefully get a spark. And then I have loose pieces of toilet paper here that we're supposed to catch on fire. But as you can see, it's not sparking. So I don't know if the pennies just aren't, don't have enough copper in them. Okay, so sadly my lemon did not um, catch on fire. Uh, cause a fire as it was supposed to. Um, but yeah, maybe the there is not enough copper um, in the pennies to actually cause um, cause a reaction. Okay, so as you saw from before, um, I tried to um, just create a fire with a lemon. So in this experiment, I used one um, lemon six copper pennies, um, six zinc nails, um, a piece of rubberized a piece of rubberized wire and some steel wool. So first I rubbed the lemon together in my hands for a little bit and then I placed um, six zinc nails you can see right here spaced out a little bit into one side of the lemon and six copper pennies um, into the other side. Then I took some wire and I connected the second penny to the first nail. So that I had one attached penny on one side and one attached zinc nail um, on the other side. I then took a piece of rubberized wire and I tied it around um, the zinc nail. And I took another piece of rubberized wire and I tied it around um, the penny, but since I was using a penny instead of a copper nail, I used these clips to attach my wire to the penny. Um, I ideally would have liked to use um, a copper nail instead of the penny, but sadly I couldn't find any copper um, nails at any of the local hardware stores, so I just decided to try and use a penny. So that's why I use these clips here. Um, to attach the penny, like I said, to try to get a stronger connection um, between the zinc and the copper. Um, but, so then, uh, and then lastly I went outside and I put some pieces of toilet paper um, on some steel wool and I took my lemon and I connected the two ends here, so this end and then this end of my rubberized wire. Um, this one that is connected to um, the penny here, and this one, which is connected to my zinc nail. And
and um and but it did not oh so it connected to it and so once i still i had my one end connected to the um, copper penny and my one end connected to the zinc nail and i rubbed them together a little bit um, onto the wool and try to get a spark with the toilet paper um, to hopefully have them catch on fire. Um, but as you saw before, the wires did not cause the spark and the toilet paper um, did not catch on fire. So this was supposed to work because in order for a battery to operate, um, it needs to have two electrodes and one electrolyte. Um, in this experiment, the copper pennies are the cathode and the zinc nails are the anode. And then the acidic acid from the lemon is used as the electrolyte. And the lemon juice in the lemon is highly acidic, which is why it's able to actually remove um, electrons from zinc after the zinc is connected to the acid from the lemon juice. And the electrons are able to move across the wire after they collect in the metal. So from the, this wire here, they're actually, the electrons are supposed to um, move from the um, zinc to the copper. And then hydrogen gas is then created after the electrons are moved to the copper. And because they are able to pull hydrogen ions out of the acid and reduce them by adding electrons. So since the electrons would much rather be in the copper than in the zinc, um, the lemon juice allows them to exit the zinc nails and move across on, into the copper pennies. Um, then this is able to cause a chemical reaction because there are differences in electronegativity between the copper and the zinc once they move across um, the wire. And a battery um, is consists of two different metals that are suspended in acidic solution, which is why a lemon here is able to cause a fire when zinc and copper are placed in, into it. So I really enjoyed um, making this interactive advanced concept presentation um, because I really I had no idea how useful um, a single lemon could be. Um, it was really easy to set up and it took no more than 10 minutes once I had all of my materials. Um, but again, I'm not sure if maybe the copper nails um, may have created a fire more easily um, than the pennies since the pennies may not have enough copper in them. And I had to also use these clips to attach the wire, which it might have just been easier to have a nail um, connected straight from the this zinc nail straight to the copper nails. But it is good to know that you can create a fire basically anywhere with simple materials such as lemon and some copper and some zinc and some rubberized wire and a little bit of steel wool. Thank you.